Leave your hair alone. I do it all the time. It's such a problem. What am I even saying? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video that has been floating around on YouTube at the moment. Oh, boyfriend. I've got a boyfriend, oh my God, I hate you. That's awkward. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this video has been going around so much on YouTube and it's basically like asking questions that you're too afraid to ask, answering questions you're too afraid to ask you. Oh, wow. Ask your mum. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I thought, what better idea than to bring my 13 year old sister? So this is Grace, my 13 year old sister. Smile. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, are your boyfriends ah. watching? <laughs> There's a mirror right in front of her, so that's why she's so vain and staring at herself. <laughs> so yeah, we um, are gonna basically answer your guys' questions. So half of you are from Grace's friends and half of you are from my um, Instagram. So yeah, we're gonna be answering your guys' questions. So the first question, I'm gonna have to use your phone like it's mine. I'm gonna pretend to be rich. Oh my God, Grace, they can literally see bank details. <laughs> Great. Okay, so the first question is first kiss. Have you had your first kiss yet? No. Oh, so cute, will it? <laughs> oh, come here. What do, you, what do you say to your mum about your first kiss? Oh, what do you say to your mum about your first kiss? You just go, mum, guess who I kissed today? <laughs> No, that's what you do. Yeah, now I'm a bad influence. Um, so like, if you've had your first kiss, you're too scared to tell your mum. Literally, just tell her like it's not a big deal. Like I promise, your first kiss is a big deal. Like you're like, oh my god, like my first proper kiss. But it's not a big deal to your mum. Your mum will be more like, oh, that's so cute. Or your parents, whoever. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what I got. You haven't had yours yet, but I'm sure if you did, it'd be like, oh, Gracie, wouldn't it? It no. wouldn't be like made a massive deal. But it's important, it's kind of cute. You do remember it forever. Mine was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is money, money. How do you, I don't know. How do you handle? Asking for money. Ha ask, oh yeah, it's asking for money. So asking for money, that's kind of, I mean, it depends. If you are like naughty and you don't do anything to help around the house and you're just like asking for money, it's a bit rude. I don't really know to be fair. Like if I need if I need money from my mum that I don't have myself and I, I need money to like go out or something that I don't have, I'll just politely just be like, Mum, will I be able to borrow like however much? and um, please I'll pay you back or I'll say or sh she will always say, Oh man, you don't need to pay me back but um yeah, you just I still do that. I still say, Oh, I'll pay you back. Next one is mental health help. What do you think? You gotta be honest because if you keep it all to yourself then you're gonna struggle exactly like you just need to if you think that you need if like something's bothering you i do this like if something's bothering me i'll go to my mum straight away like she's very much like that i just sneeze <laughs> oh don't sneeze what is this coronavirus going on now <laughs> so um yeah mental health is like a massive thing mm -hmm. at the minute like humongous thing it always has been but it's more of a big thing at the moment um but if you are, it's like, you need to speak to your mum about it. Like, it's so important to speak to your mum about it. Um, and, yeah, there's not really much to... But Or just speak to somebody else about it, if, like, a sibling or something. Um, but it's so, so important. Like, the other day, I was upset. It wasn't because I'm, like, I haven't got any mental health problems or anything. But I was upset and mum came in and I spoke to her about it and told her what was bothering me. And things like it makes you feel so much better also. But you need to make sure that you're telling your parents stuff like that because... At the end of the day, they can't help if they don't know. So, yeah. You tell your parents, say your grace. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is body image. Go on. What do you say, Mom? How do you do that? Body image. How do you deal with body image, Grace? Learn that. How you look is how you look. Got to get over it. That was, I don't know if that was nasty or <laughs> no, but like, if you don't like yourself, then learn to. Yeah, very much so. Um, the, the big one that I say a lot is you can't love other people if you can't, and what is it? Love yourself. Yeah, you need to love yourself before you can love other people, which is That's a big in thing. That's a song. I'm a singer-songwriter, did you not know? So you need to, like love yourself and it's difficult as a teenage teenager like if you're a teenage boy or a teenage girl it's difficult to become a teenager and you're becoming like a person like, as a teenager it's difficult because you're going through so much things so you need to like what are you laughing at why do you keep laughing <laughs> so much things yeah like puberty and that 
Why is that a funny topic? That I don't funny. understand why thirteen year olds laugh at that. Why is that funny? <laughs> you know what you said it, you're not even sympathetic about it. Yeah, like puberty and that. What? With um body image, you just need to learn to love yourself and it's so difficult as a teenager growing up and not being able to stop staring at yourself and look in the camera <laughs> um to go through that. But it's different, like what do you think as a thirteen year old girl? Mm. Like, what do you think it's like with body image at the moment? Because obviously I can't speak for thirteen year olds because I'm sixteen. Like, I mean, you can like? see people struggling with it, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I feel like every teenager is different, like, with a whole body image. Like, you'll find that some people never struggle with anything, and then some people struggle a lot, or some people don't, th- like, make out as if they don't, they don't, but they might, like, secretly. It's difficult. You just need to make sure that when you grow up, you need to learn to love yourself, because... You know, you've got to learn to love yourself because that's the body that you're in forever. But if it's something like, I think I, sp- I spoke about this in my last video. If you are, let's say, for instance, overweight and you're struggling with your body image, you're overweight, you don't want to be. If you can do something about that, then you can then do something. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's something like overweight, then you can help. That. Like, you can do something about that, but don't destroy yourself. Just flip it and think, oh, let's do like let's do everything i can to make sure that i like the way that i look you can make yourself a routine you can like get into a routine yeah exactly you could so that's really that's a good thing so if you are struggling with things like that you can do but obviously if it's something that you can't change like your nose or something then you've just got to learn to love yourself and that sounds so stupid because it's like obviously like i don't choose to not also i'd say speak to somebody as well because if you're very much like uh i don't want to talk to somebody then you know, like your parents. Well, are really no, good. but you're best off trying to deal with it yourself first. Yeah. Do you think that? Well, yeah. If you like, if you like, try. If you like, force yourself to love yourself, kind of thing. You know, like. And it's not real. Yeah, but then over time it will become real, and if it doesn't, that's when you need to talk to someone. Next yeah. one is periods. This is a good one. So if you. Um, periods is like one that was quite popular actually because obviously a lot of people don't want to speak to their mum about it because a lot of people are awkward about it which I think you shouldn't be obviously <coughs> don't think you shouldn't be um, but obviously somebody who's just started the period that's a bit awkward like I was 14 was I 14 I think I just turned 14 when I started my period no you were older than that was I was I you started freaking out about it because you hadn't started yet. Yeah, I was proper, like, honestly, <laughs> if you... Like, no, this is so common, though, because so many people freak out about it because they didn't start yet. Like, I know people who didn't start to the literally 16. Like, it's so different for everybody. I think it ranges from 9 to 19, I want to say. That, that, is that the gap that you can cite your period to? Never searched it up before. No, we got to hear it. I didn't say it at all. I mean, I probably did. Because I was freaking out. Like, I was 14. I was like, I literally have not started my period. But it's not. Like, everybody's body is different. Like, everybody. So, you start when you start. It's not, like, a big issue. If you think you're going to come up on your period. So, like, I, don't, I can't remember what the signs are. You just get really... What even are the signs? Like, before you come on your period. Cramps. You get cramps all the time. You get belly. Yeah, that's the same thing. Um... <gasps> I don't know. You hate mood swings. You get mood swings. Jesus, you get mood swings. <laughs> but also you get things like discharge and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a big thing. Everyone's like, oh my God, girls have discharge. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when you have a vagina. <laughs> um, but obviously if you have things like that, then that that's quite common. So before you actually start your period, you do get discharge. And that is normal. So... If you've got that, definitely speak to your mum. Like, obviously, I spoke to my mum. Actually, from fact, I started my um, period in a Toby Carvery with my nana. <laughs> Luckily, though, because I had discharge and everything like that, the normal things, um, my mum used to pack me pads in a little bag and I used to carry it around with me everywhere for, like, four months because I was just like, right, well, I'm going to start soon because I've got the... Stop staring at yourself. I'm going to start soon because I've got the signs of it. So, yeah. It's normal to have discharge cramps, everything like that, especially before you come on your period. That is so normal. And throughout, like, when, you, when you've when you started your period. Like, do you know normal? That's normal as well, isn't it? Um, the next one is boys. I hate them. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. Most of them aren't worth it. No. I feel like... I mean, I didn't really like... I wasn't really... I mean, I've always been boy crazy, but I wasn't... When I was, like, Grace's age, I didn't have, like, a proper boyfriend. Like, I was, like, scared to talk to boys. You know what I mean? Like, I was a bit like that. 
Whereas Grace is on call to different lads every single night. So, like, <laughs> there's a massive difference. <laughs> um, so, like, it's very different. But like, I didn't have my first proper kiss, like, getting off until I was, like, 15, 14, 15. Boys are just completely, like, I don't know. I feel like as I've got older in my teenage years, coming from Grace, like, 13 to, like, 16, boys have become more of, like, a big thing to me. So when I was 13, it wasn't, like, woo! It was kind of, like, let's go on Retrico, Retrico, whatever it is, make loom bands and go roller skating. Like, that was like, how it was when I was 13. Whereas in Grace's age of 13, everything's, like, boys, makeup, Instagram, TikTok. Like, everything's, like, it is now for me as a 16-year-old. But when I was 13, I was very different to how you was, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Like... <laughs> you're like the nine-year-old equivalent of me yeah i was but that wasn't just me that was like everybody like my whole entire generation was you do realize we're in the same generation right no but i mean like all like people <laughs> sure. the people my age now when we was younger boys wasn't a massive thing boys were just like your best mates like it is now whereas you guys are living the life that we are at 16 do you know what i mean which is true because that's just how society has changed but um yeah boys if you like a boy then it you know maybe sometimes i joke around with my mum i'm like oh mum you know so and so and she's like oh for god's sake not another one <laughs> like it's kind of like that that's the kind of relationship i am but talking about boys with my parents because they're just i'm they're so used to me calling every lad fit leave boys, your hair alone I, I do it all the time it's such a problem i can't really there's no correct way to tell you about boys you just kind of experience yourself with your friends you know talk about any daily sleepovers yeah, there's not much to say about boys, really, is there? But yeah. don't let them take over your life, right? <laughs> and don't let them take advantage of you. Yes, do not let them take advantage of you. Jesus, hell, I like you are not an object or anything like that. You are a bloody girl. That's amazing. Inspirational. <laughs> Next one is being bullied. How do I tell my mum if I'm being bullied? Um, you just need to tell her straight up you need to tell her because nobody should be able to nobody should live in secret of not saying anything if they're getting bullied should the grace nope. like straight away you need to tell her um because your parents can help you and other people can help you um but you just need to say to her just be like like if it was happening to me i'd be like mom some girls or boys whoever are being horrible to me and then my mum would be like what what what, what? and i'd tell her like you just need to speak to them about it don't you and you may be scared to speak to her about it but you just need to make sure you tell her. But if she isn't very supportive or anything, then you tell somebody that you know is going to be supportive. Tell someone before it gets worse. Definitely. Because you'll end up in a very bad situation if you don't. Definitely. Bad situation that could possibly get people done. Mm. Exactly. Because you need to get you need to get it to stop. Next one is the pill. So the pill, if you don't know, um, is a contraception. Um, that you take to prevent pregnancy that's like the, mo the that's like the main reason but obviously people take the pill for completely different reasons like you can take it to reduce spots you can take it for mood swings like you can take it for anything like it's not just for to prevent pregnancy um, but obviously if you are taking the pill and you're having sex then you should definitely use condoms and stuff as well because it's not always like accurate is it accurate uh, Accurate. No, accurate. that's not right. That's like when you're drawing a triangle and all the angles need to that's be That's a cute. Oh. No, accurate. <laughs> we just had to do stupid. Um, if you're, no, if you're over 16, you can put on the pill yourself. You don't have to ask your parents. I don't think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a doctor. I personally don't go on the pill. I've never been on the pill because I can't deal with my mood swings anyways, let alone if I was on the pill. Girl, just speak to your mum. Just be like, um, mum, can I please be put on the pill like and say like why because obviously you, you know your mum also went through these problems like so a female in your family like obviously they've been through it too like i'm sure that like most of people get put on the pill like so many people get put on the pill it's just yeah. a normal thing you just need to be speak to her and just be like mum i think i should be on the pill like and it's so understandable because obviously they're female too so they know what it's like and it's so common like don't think it's awkward the second you start being awkward about stuff the second it becomes an awkward situation because it's actually not so if you want to be put on the pill, you just need to ask. The next one is virginity. So obviously the law is to be 16, 
before you have sex. But obviously, many people do not wait till they're 16. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? No, it's not a bad thing if you do have sex or whatever, like, as long as you're safe, safe sex. Like, as long as it's, like, you know, you're not having one-night like, stands and stuff like that. Like, it's somebody that you're Controlled. with. Controlled. Yeah. Control it. Control. Oh, you should definitely tell your mum. One of the questions was actually, should I tell my mum when I've lost my virginity? It just depends on personal preference and your relationship with your mum. But also, if you're scared, like, if you are scared, you tell your mum, like, promise you, tell your mum, it's fine. She's not going to kill you. You're all right. Um, she might can't just... say that. What? <laughs> She's not going to kill you. Well, she might. She might tell you off. It depends what kind of parent you have. But obviously, if you want to tell your mum, tell your mum. But if you don't, then tell your friends. Or talk about it to your friends. If you're happy without telling your mum, you don't need to tell her. Like, it's not be like, oh, mum, guess what I did today? Like, the no. next one is, do I tell my mum if I've got a baby? Yes, you tell your mum if you've got a baby. Um, That would be a bit awkward if not, because you just, what's it called, give birth one day, and <laughs> your mum's like, um, excuse me, and you're you like... You have to avoid your mum for, like, four months, no, five nine. months. Like, no, but at first you can't, you can't tell anyone. Why, are you pregnant? Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, I've seen so many YouTube videos, though, where people actually, like, don't tell the mum that they're pregnant. Well, yeah, and it's like how I hid my baby you. for seven months and I'm like, <coughs> jeez, I won't be able to do that. You'd have to avoid her. Yeah, well, I mean, if you don't want the baby, you need to tell your mum, you take the after morning pill, you get an abortion, like, things like that. If you don't want the baby, if it was an accident, you know, um, and you don't want the baby, like, it was an accident or something, then you tell your mum because it can be dealt with. But again, it's personal preference. It's whatever you put. Definitely tell. No, it's not the personal preference. You tell your mum if you're pregnant. You just tell her, don't you? It's just something you do. It's gonna be so awkward, but you just tell her, don't you? Well, yeah, because often if something goes wrong and you all of a sudden need her. Exactly. Thongs. Do I tell my mum about getting a thong? <laughs> this is so funny. Um, I don't think I told my mum. I just went out and got it. Fun fact. I was with my friends and we just went out and got one. That's just kind of how it worked. And then when we're in Victoria's Secret Pink and I'm with my mum and I'm like, Mum, look at these! And she's like, no. And I'm like, I'm getting them. It's just kind of like a funny thing, really, with my mum. But I am 16, but obviously, like, my underwear that I've been getting from Victoria's Secret Pink, I was literally, like, 14 when I started getting them. It's going to be so awkward if, mm -hmm. like, you know, Mum, I'm going to gonna have a fuck, please. Like, it's awkward, but you just kind of... You're gonna do it. You don't really ask. You just kind of do it, don't you? It's one of the things like your mum's not gonna start think it's a big deal. She's just gonna think, oh, that's cute. She wants a thong now. So the final question that we're gonna talk about is shaving. Um, obviously, shaving. Like, yeah, you tell your mum because obviously she's the one that needs to buy razors because you can't actually buy a razor until I think it's eighteen. I can't buy a razor. There's an age limit. On yeah, them. I can't buy razors. That's that's stupid. I know. I'm sixteen. I'm not allowed to buy a razor. It might be sixteen, but I, I, I I'm not allowed to buy them. I know that. I never tried. You've got unwanted hair, you shave, do what you want. <laughs> I mean, everyone's different. Like, some people don't want to, some people do. It's personal preference. Mm, you'll probably feel more comfortable if you can, like, you know, kind of just be free. Be free, be free, be free. Exactly. Without people kind of... I don't know, I can't say it from my yeah, so if you want to shave, obviously shave. You don't need to speak to your mum about it. Like, I've never gone downstairs to my mum, but my mum can I shave my armpits. Like, I've never gone down and said that. You just kind of do it, don't you? Maybe the first time you could ask. Yeah, like, you could ask. Once you've done it, you've done it, haven't you? You just do it. But then also, your parents aren't going to expect you to ask them because as soon as you've got that unwanted hair, you can do what you want. Like, if you want to grow it, grow it. If you want to leave it, leave it. If you want to shave it, shave it. You know, but I think there's such a stigma as well on like everybody like as soon as you turn, you need to shave everything like full body. But obviously you don't. I mean, if you're, st if you've got stubble, that hurts. Shaving stubble hurts. It really does. No matter where it is, it hurts. Other than your legs, because I don't think your legs can get what well, they can, but um, that won't hurt. Like all over your body, it grows back quick. And you're like, what the frick? Can you just stop growing? Can you just stop? Like I've just shaved you. Can you stop? Um. But yeah, you learn stuff as you get older, don't you? It's don't do it too often because it does hurt. And then when you do shave, do not use a soap. Like, you should not be, especially down there, do not use scented stuff at all. Like, at all. If you use that, it gets, it hurts. 
and you also do get marks like, for instance on your leg you literally get like little red dots not everyone gets this i get this do you get red dots on your legs isn't it like shaving rash yeah it's shaving rash and shaving rash is so common and that is everywhere like literally everywhere it hurts. Um, and shaving rashes do hurt but also if you have stubble over your shaving rash and then you shave it does hurt so just kind of leave it that's what i'm gonna say don't do it every single day on your vagina do not shave all the time every single day because that will hurt um, and you will get shaving marks and shape shave, not shaving marks shaving rashes and it just becomes irritated and itchy and stuff and that's just what happens like, that is normal so also if that is happening um then you can get stuff to help it yeah you can get stuff to help it so like you can get cream so you can get shaving foam shaving foam is a good one but also make sure you don't dry shave especially um on your vagina because that will hurt i imagine i mean i've never done it but that will hurt dry shaving anyway is bad isn't it but just make sure that you're not putting any soap either but yeah that is normal don't worry your vagina is not meant to look like a um ice skating rink that's the smoothest thing i could have thought of <laughs> A baby's face. A baby's face. Like, don't be scared to shave. It's not a big deal. Wait, the you know you can get like electric ones. What are they call just electric mm -hmm. razors. They hurt. That's not fun. Yeah, don't use that on your wet, vagina. Wet, wet, wet. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> just wet <laughs> the razors. Get like normal, not normal, like disposable not, ones. Yeah, disposable ones are really good, especially to use down there because you don't want to use something that, like. You know, you don't want to be shaving your legs with a razor that you can use multiple times and then go and shave your vagina. Like, it'll hurt. Not hurt, but, like, kind of just use gross. disposable ones. Yeah, it's a bit gross. Like, use disposable ones. Um, it's not a big deal. Everybody does it. I mean, not everybody, obviously. But, like, it's common. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's common. You're fine. Um, but, yes, I think we should wrap it up there. Can we do the renegade? Yes, five, six, Thank seven, eight. Well, um yeah so thanks so much for watching my video um i hope you enjoyed it and make sure you like and subscribe because yes make sure you follow grace's social medias right here um right here follow her socials but yeah if you want to see more videos with grace in and grace's comments um make sure you comment in the section below and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye say bye now bye, bye. <laughs>